Okay, YouTube, I'm back, and today we're going to go over this round one Edison format at Evolution Games between Aaron on the left, ooh, looks like, and Steven on the right, Steven Bronder. Looks like Bronder rolled a 12, and Aaron rolled a 6. I don't remember what, I think Bronder is playing like, I, this This was from like a few weeks ago. Sorry, my cat wants to <laughs> All right, so we have my cat, and we have the other cat just came in. For those of you guys who watched me win the Time Wizard tournament, so we have two cats here. My real cat, and then look at the rescue cat. All right, let's go. Let's go over the duel. So, okay. So looks like I, I don't even remember. This was so long ago. I don't remember what decks these two were playing. We'll figure it out. Because I think they both alternate between the decks they use. So, Steven starts off by just setting a monster, setting a back row. He's got that goat mat. Someone asked about it in a previous video. Okay, what's Aaron playing? What are you playing, Aaron? Okay, so he summoned Lila. I'm pretty sure he's playing Lightsworn. Ooh, Papa D Prison. And mill three. So there's Beckoning, Car Trooper, Charge. He might be playing Christia Sworn. I think this local happened right before we went to Copra's Cove. So, and then I think Steven is playing just a pure fairy deck. But we'll find out, because... I'm almost positive Aaron's playing Christian Sworn because I know he won a win -a map at the at the big we had this big sixty four man tournament in Copers Cove, Texas. I'm pretty sure he played Aaron played this Christian Sworn deck. Alright, so yeah. He pops a hamster, Mills Orange Light, and two traps. Steven's fairy deck. I don't know that I guess they play oh man, he's just summoning all those recruiters. Tax with Raiko, tax with Fairies is the one deck you got to be careful against because they do. They're, it's like the one deck who actually has a real hand trap and a Herald of Orange Light. So sometimes I I, I play against Fairies. And I'm really careful. Like, oh, what if he like Orange Lights my substitute or Swap Frog or something like that. Okay, so how will Aaron deal with this field? Looks like he's got like Raikos. I actually tested against Aaron with this deck and. Okay, so is Jane. Yeah, I tested with him against his deck before the tournament we went to. So here, I'm guessing they're trying to see who's going to drop Honest. It's whoever calls priority. Turn player has priority, so if, you, if you're attacking, you got to drop your Honest first. But it's not worth it for Aaron to drop it here. I think it's like Bronder's thinking about dropping Honest. Or maybe he's just trying to get him. Maybe he's just trying to get him to drop his Honest. But on a Raikou? No. Yeah, you don't drop it on a Raikou. I think maybe Steam was trying to get him. Okay. Let's see. Is uh, So he, we haven't seen any fairies. So maybe Aaron's playing a pure Lightsworn deck. I don't remember. Oh, okay. So Steven's playing this the Gear Freed version of the deck. Like, he likes that version, I think. I don't know. If I were to play fairies, which people say it's hard, it's a difficult deck to pilot. Which I don't, I don't see it. To me, you just drop Christia <laughs> every time. Every time I play against them, I'm just hoping, oh, they're just gonna ram their shining angel or their Nova Summoner, get four fairies, and then drop Christia, and then I'm cooked. So I don't know. That's just my opinion. I just look at it as a Christia deck. Okay, so that was a quick game one. Yeah, he just got overwhelmed. I think Aaron drew pretty bad. We didn't even see his deck because I think he's playing Christia Sworn. So here we go, game two. I'm skipping the side deck and now trying to make the video shorter. So yeah, this angle is a little bit different for this local. Okay, so Aaron starts off with charge. Not sorry, not charge. Recharge. I think he drew Lumina. Let's see, he knows Celestia and Car Trooper. So this might be pure Light Sworn. Sets Ryko most likely. Let's see what Steven can do. What will Steven do to Steven just sets two? Steven's played this deck a few times on the channel. Alright. So 
So what is Aaron gonna do? I do love this gold map. Okay, so he summons Lila. Dang, he could get punished by Tarantula, but he didn't have it, so. Oh, so it wasn't Raikou. Ooh. Um, I get it. All right. Sometimes, I mean, Tarantula would have hurt him really bad, but he didn't have it. Tarantula's at one. I think ter when Tarantula was at two, it, it was it was such a, it was so good. Because you can't just you can't just walk into Torrential when it was at two. It's much more common to run into it versus when it's at one. Okay, so so Steven looks like Steven's hand was weak now. He hasn't summoned any monsters, so he pops a new one. It was a Torrential. Oh wow! So he drew the Torrential. It's probably Steven didn't chain. Hmm. So now what? Oh yeah, see he is playing Christy Storm. We see the Herald of Orange Light and the Hamster. So interesting deck by Aaron. I don't know if I'd play Orange Light though. I don't know if you play enough fairies. Now I remember this. This uh, I tested with Aaron right before the the big tournament, and he uh, he got me a few times with Orange Light, and definitely beat me with Christy. Definitely, definitely be with Christian. <laughs> okay, so let's see. He just attacks, hits him for everything. Is that double bottomless? Yeah, I think it's double bottomless, right? He bottomless the Lila again, or so he mills Christia, beckoning double Christia. Is he playing triple Christia? I know he's playing that light sworn trap, which I didn't even know existed. There was some Life Sworn Trap that lets you mill, and I was wondering, like, how come I've never seen this card before? It, it seemed okay. Does he have Celestia in hand? Celestia, Celestia would be pretty good right here. So he doesn't have Celestia. Does he have Call? I don't think they did, did Bron I think Bonner did draw double bottomless. Which he's going second, so sometimes I side all bottomless going second, but I think against a deck like uh, Fairies, uh, would I side out bottomless against a Fairy deck? Mm, I don't know. Depends if you can deal with Christy or not. But if Christy is already up, I guess it's not bad against this version of the deck because they can't really drop Christy or JD. They have to kind of set up. For it, so yeah, I, I keep bottomless in going second in this scenario. Man, Celestia would just cook him, but I think he milled one Celestia. Yeah, one Celestia is gone. He'll call. He calls Celestia. That's weird. I wonder why he called Celestia. Is he just going to tribute it for synchro with it? Oh, the Celestia, I'm guessing, is a fairy. Oh, he's special in defense. Oh, now he's got orange light as well. So I guess now he can attack the Shining Angel. He won't be able to special summon. And if he drops Honest, he'll just negate it with orange light. I can't say. I guess this was not a bad play since he had Christy in his hand. Because if, if he calls Christia, then he can't drop his own Christia, so... He could have also tribute summoned for Christia. That's another thing he could have done. He could have, like, double Christia on the field. But then he doesn't get the air orange light back in his hand. So, yeah. This is a pretty good play. Now, Shining Angel doesn't get his effect. I, I'm not keeping track of life. I probably should have kept track of life. Okay, so he summons D Alk. This deck seems a little slow at times. 
So he attacks into Christia. He's going to drop Honest. Now, depending on how many fairs, so good, see, see, Aaron's going to go check how many fairs he has. So he's thinking, it, if I can just drop it again, why do I need to? Yeah, see, he's like, ah, screw it. But now he's got three back rows. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. The Kree just wins games at times. Oh, man. He got cooked by that decree right there. Is he going to make Armory Arm, too? I think he's just trying to get four fairies. Ooh, don't tell me he's going to make Stardust, too. Stardust, Christia, Decree. That that looks like getting... But I don't, he doesn't have Orange. Oh, he's going to grab back the Orange Light. Oh, my God. Bronner should just scoop. He's got one card in the hand. I don't think the life points matter too much in this duel. I'll try. I'll keep track of life for the next the next duel. See, that's why I love when I'm on camera or when, my, or when Los is on camera because he always does the life points. Whew. So what happened? What's taking him so long to drop Stardust? I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to make. Unless he's going to make like Thought Ruler, Colossal. No, yeah, Stardust. And then Christia. Yep. Christia effect. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. This is game. Yeah, Steven. <laughs> I'm, I saw this coming a mile away. Why, why didn't you scoop earlier? Okay, so now we got the live points ready for game three. Okay, let's see. Steven's going first this time. What's Steven going to do? So he starts off with Gold Sark and Fairies. That's interesting. I don't really see it normally played. I think the only decks I see playing Gold Sark are like Light Sworn and Diva Hero Beat. I thought I, I tried it in Hero Frogs, Gold Sark. I think. If you play the discard traps, you can't play Gold Sark. I think you have to cut them out because then you lose too many cards in your hand. And that's the only reason I wouldn't play it in that deck. I think I've seen people top with Hero Frogs playing one Gold Sark before. Okay, so Steven Sark's Christia sets a monster, sets a back row. So I'm... They're both at eight. Aaron's got that mat. Did Aaron just pass, or he's thinking, or I think I see recharge in his hand. Hmm. Oh yeah, so he does have recharge. Pitch it. Oh, I think he didn't want to pitch Lumina. Oh, he's got Heavy Storm too in his hand. Let's see, what's he gonna mill? He takes a while to mill. Usually people just mill right away. Did he forget to mill? Oh, wow. He forgot to mill. What? Did they both? Oh, yeah. They both missed it? Oh, wow. <laughs> How did they both miss the mill? Now he's going to draw the card he's not supposed to draw. This This is like... It's crazy when you catch these things on camera, which they probably both missed it. But these things happen all the time. Happens, it, people just don't notice it. Probably happens at YCSs all the time. So he right goes, pit, pops the hamster, mills three fairies. So What's he going to make here? Armory Arm or? So, yeah. Christ, Christy is coming in hot. And I think it probably wouldn't have mattered that Aaron forgot to mill. Steven looks like he's about to just go in. Yeah. But I think he's got Honest in hand. 
but he's gonna get orange light and he probably has another fairy in hand so yeah it's not looking good for for Aaron but this is a ton of damage right here so 15 18 and 28 that puts him at what 19 yeah so he draws Raiko is he gonna try to fight out of it he could just burn him with army arm as well he drew too many normal summons this is he's got like honest the shire light sworn heavy storm which ain't gonna do much I think he's thinking, but he's got no plays. He can maybe try setting Raiko, but it's just going to get orange lighted. Okay, so he heavies the Mirror Force. Did he get that Christy early? I don't know. Maybe he did. I wasn't paying too close attention. I mean, he's at, uh, well, I'm looking at life and he's at 19. So he summons Gear Freed. So he equips to Gear Freed, attacks, and then, uh, why'd he do it that way? Oh, he didn't have another fairy. Anyways, that's GG. Hope you guys enjoy the duel, and we'll see you guys later for round two. Bye, everyone.